Hey Hebrew fans, this is Todd. So today, I got this really cool box from uh, BBTS, Big Bad Toy Store, and let's see what it is. So it looks like I got some cool action figures here. First of all, they have their little uh, postcard for looking at stuff you can buy from them. Really cool looking Superman and some other stuff. Star Wars stuff. How cool is that? And this is the set. Now, I bought this for one purpose and one purpose only. And that was for this purple bird right here. That's why I wanted this set was for that bird. Because you know, as well as I did, this bird is the same, um, the exact same uh, tool probably used that created a lot of the birds for the Masters of the Universe. And I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to use it for now, but it should be something, some cool kind of thing. Now, what's fun about this is it's supposed to come with all the parts to build um, Lex Luthor. We'll take a look and see if it actually comes with all the parts. And these are the figures in the set that I'm going to pull out one at a time. Now, when I open them one at a time, um, my plan is to edit this video and basically show them being opened all at the same time to kind of speed it up. So first, I got Vixen. And for those of you who watch WB, you've probably seen um, Vixen in the first, um, some of the shows. And now, of course, they have her uh, great-grandmother playing the part. Kind of cool. Then there is a brand new Batman with Lex Luthor's head. Pretty cool. The Ray, I have no idea who this character is. In the comments, please let me know who this, this person is and what they're all about. So let's see, Ray Trail steps in the light, shines bright as a member of Batman's new Justice League of America. Hmm. All right, don't know who he is. And for those that know me, you know I am a huge Wonder Woman fan. Sure enough, here is the newest Wonder Woman figure, part of the collection. Pretty cool. There she is. And they include extra hands, extra parts. So, let's go ahead and we're going to open her last because she's the coolest. But let's start with the lamest. You know, I don't even know if he's lame or not. He's just a character I don't know. So let's line these up. All right. So the ray, the ray of sunshine, ray of fire. I don't know what it stands for. They've got a little heavier on the tape on these things than they did on the other figures. So let's see how easy these are to open. Not too bad. All right, there he is. He has a happy face and his regular I don't care face. So it's kind of cool. So you can change his head out. And of course we got the Lex Luthor parts that we're gonna go ahead and set aside so we can build Lex later. Put those Lex arms over there. Let's go and take this figure out. Now, for those that have watched my videos in the past, if they have a cape, I would like to cut the plastic first to relieve that plastic to not break the cape. He does not have a cape. He will probably be going on eBay promptly. Not really a huge fan. But let's take a look at the articulation while I have him here. So, elbow bends. Let's start from the bottom up. So his foot moves. He has some uh, 
ankle pivot on there, but not a lot. Oh, there we go. It twists just like the new He-Man figures do. That Super 7 makes. Knee bend. Is it double jointed? It is double jointed. Look at that. So it's double jointed knees. Articulation up there. From the waist. And of course this leg has the identical double jointed knee and everything. Ugh. This will spin at the waist or not, but... Oh, yep, he does. He spins the waist. He has articulation in the middle there. His head, shoulder, bicep, elbow, not double jointed, but it does have a double articulation there, it looks like. And then, of course, his wrist bends in various places as well. So, cool, cool. All right. And there's his extra parts he comes with. Extra head, extra hands. Let's set him aside and on to the next figure. All right. Let's open Batman. Now the box is very similar to the other box where it shows the figures in the back. So we can see all the figures in the back and how to, how to build Lex Luthor in case you forgot that his arms and legs and where they go and which figures it comes with. Get this open. Batman. Now he goes only one head and extra hands. That's cool. Let's go ahead and pop him out. And it looks like he comes with a Lex Luthor Superman cape. And Lex Luthor's head. We'll put those aside so we can build all those together in a few minutes. Now he has a cape, so you guys know my rules. Whenever you have a cape, you want to carefully cut this plastic up the back so that you can get the cape out without ruining it. You want to be very careful not to accidentally cut the cape. There we go. Let's go and pop it out. Now this cape is Extremely soft. Feels like fake vinyl or fake leather or something, but it left marks in the cape in the package. So that kind of stinks. So we can tuck that in a little bit. Alright, articulation. I'm sure it's the same as the last figure. Yep, his ankle rocks, pivots, double jointed knees, twist up here leg. It's got a cool utility belt. He twists and his belt is separate so that's kind of kind of a fun thing. He has the ab crunch, elbows bend, bicep. He has the um, shoulder articulation, head movement. And uh, that's about it. There he is. Cool Batman. I'm gonna keep him. And again, here's his extra parts. He's got extra hands. All right. I guess I should put that guy up here to you so you can see I'm starting to build him, take him apart. Okay, next one, Vixen. You know what? Let's do a small comparison. Let's look at this Batman next to some of the other Batman figures. So here he is next to one of my favorite Batmans, as you guys know, and he's about the same height, so that's pretty cool. So he, he probably could fit in with the Masters Universe line. Let's put him next to Hebro and take a look. Yeah, that's not too bad. So he probably could fit with the, the Masters line pretty well as a little bit skinnier Batman. That would work. Let's go ahead and put him next to some of the, the old DC figures and see how he looks. So 
So here's the DC Superman. Wow, that's quite a bit difference in height. So definitely not what he made so much for that because Superman should not be that short next to Batman. And let's take a look at him next to the um, Justice or the Super Friend Superman. And again, same kind of deal. He's a little too short to fit in with that. But you know what? Next to Robin, he probably looked pretty cool. So let me go ahead and get Robin out of here. For those that know, this is my favorite Robin figure. He's pretty cool. And that will work. Me and Robin should be a little shorter than Batman, so that will still work pretty good. So there we go. Batman Robin. Na -na 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 -na. All right, so let's go ahead and set him up. Put him there. Put these guys away. All right, on to Vixen. And again, the box is similar to the other box. Now, her power is she can basically have like uh, different animal powers. So like she can run like a cheetah or fly like a bird or all kinds of other things like that and usually her her animal or be strong like an ape when she turns into those animals um you can see like this purple hue around her of whatever the animal is she becomes and that's why it comes with the, the bird i mean yes it would have had a giant rhino that was in purple that'd be way cool but like again i bought this figure just for the bird itself let's go and set the lex luthor part aside And let's pop out Vixen. All right, here's Vixen. First female figure open of the, of the set. Let's take a look at her. So uh, let's see, she has pretty cool head sculpt, shoulders, no bicep. Um, articulation, elbow, wrist, and she has the crunch, the chest crunch, no waist turn though, legs, pivot there, double jointed knees, and she has the twist on the ankle. She has a lot of articulation, but I'm kind of bummed about the no bicep cut, but it, it does look nice because a lot of times the bicep cut kind of ruins the sculpt right there in that spot. But I do like the way they do the elbows. The elbows are really cool. And it has a double twisting in the elbow, so you can do quite a lot of movements with that. So that's that's pretty cool. All right. And the part I'm waiting for, the bird. Let's carefully pop the bird out of here. I'm just going to cut this plastic just a little bit more, just because I don't want to ruin the bird. That is pretty cool. So, as you know, Evil Lynn, not this Evil Lynn, but an Evil Lynn like this one, came with her own bird as well. And let's go ahead and pull that bird out and do a comparison. Uh, here's Screech right here. And you can see it is the same bird. Now, I did end up buying the Wonder Twins just for the green bird for the same reason. And I'll probably continue to do that whenever they release this bird. I'll be buying whatever figure it comes with to get that bird. And it does fit on the perch. Not the best. It's like they didn't quite make the, the talons the same on this bird. Let's see if it fits on the perches that I made on Shapeways. So here's my Shapeways perch that I made. And they work pretty cool because they're nice and tall, just like the 80s style. And let's see if it fits on this perch. You can 
Let's see what the difference is here. The feet are different. This one wraps around with the big heels. This looks almost like it was melted, like something happened during the, um, like the actual um, mold was changed somehow. I'm not sure why they did that. So you can kind of set it on there carefully, but it doesn't click into place. So I'd imagine using some poster tack or a clear small rubber band or something to hold it on there. Yeah, it's just not gonna stay for us. It's quite the balancing act. Oh, there we go. As long as you don't bump it or move it, it should stay. Anyway, you know what? I think it looks really cool with Evil Lynn. It's like it's some kind of weird kind of thing she cast to cause this purple bird. I can turn it, oh, and it just fell. She can hold it on her hand. Uh oh. On her staff. Oh well. All right. And of course, for size comparison, you can see she actually does fit in rather well. I'm actually impressed at the size of these figures. They do seem to match the Moto Masters of the US Classics pretty close. Especially if you were to go with the new Filmation one, some of the figures are shorter. Um, it may work well with that as well. Cool. All right. So, time to open the figure I've been waiting for. The Wonder Woman. And let's see how she fares next to the other figures. Now, this one's a little different. Um, the face sculpt is a little different than I expected, but still pretty cool. Let me get a different light on here so you guys can see her coloring a little better. It's the light I have is not the best light for the color. You can kind of see what she looks like. She's kind of pinkish in color. But she comes with a set to make Lex Luthor, so that's why I have her. Now, I believe I already have the coolest Wonder Woman figure ever made. And I'll show it to you in a few minutes. This one is a Probably a pretty close second. And of course the box is the same. Open it up and pretty cool, which comes with a lot of different accessories. Those are two different uh, ropes, an extra hand, a sword, and no cape, so we'll just go and pop her out. Wait, let's first take the Lex Luthor parts out. Don't get ahead of myself. Sometimes her feet get stuck in this bubble down here. I've told you many times before, let's just cut that open. I do not want to damage this figure at all. Let's try again. There we go. She is really stuck in there. So, there she is. And again, articulation, start from the bottom up. So we have her foot articulation, rocks this way, rotates that way. It's got the double jointed knee bend. That's a much looser joint than the other figures. It's got a twist up here. Now the skin color really is two different colors, not just from the camera. I can actually see that right now, the color is different. This bends here, it's soft enough rubber that it moves pretty freely. The cool thing is they painted her upper leg blue, so you don't have that strange look where you got skin coming through the flaps, so that's pretty cool. Uh, her waist is not turned. She has articulation up here. It is also loose. I wish she was as, as uh, firm as the Vixen figure. But... And then her shoulder, elbow, and it's got the twist also so she can do interesting poses. And then of course her wrist and her hand. Her head rotates. 
hair does get in the way a little bit of the articulation. There you go. So let's compare her to some other Wonder Womans of the past. Damn. All right. So let's take a look at what we have here. All right. One of my least favorite Wonder Womans. Of course, is uh, monstrously huge. Next to her. It's the new 52 Wonder Woman. One of my old favorites. She's pretty comparable in size to her. Pretty cool. What the heck, let's try her next to Supergirl. Supergirl away. And I now will show you my favorite Wonder Woman, which of course I have altered. This one right here. And for those of you who don't know, I've altered her by painting her red and cutting off her spike on her on her uh, headband. So let's compare her to this one. She's pretty comparable for height. In fact, she probably could fit in relatively close to the standard Masters of the Universe line. Let's take a look at a heroic figure of the Masters of the Universe line and compare her. Uh, she is a little short for her. Amazon, but not bad. She does fit in the line. Okay. Could maybe a young, I don't know. I mean, obviously, oh, this one's way cooler. But still, I like her. Pretty cool. And let's go and put her next to she -Ra. What the heck? Again, this one was way cooler when trying to match with the Masters. All right, you guys. So there are the four figures. There's our build parts. Here's the extra pieces that come with her. Let's go ahead and build Lex Luthor. So let's see, we got torso, we'll start with that. We got the cape that goes in the back, we'll put that in last. We have the right arm. We have the left arm. And then we have, let's see, this must be the right leg. And then we have the left leg. And then we have the head. Now, these parts I can feel are relatively tight, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grab a heat gun or something else, we can heat these up so we don't accidentally damage them. So I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I'm back. Got my hot water. This time I got double cups so it stays hot for a while. And let's go ahead and uh, start putting them together. And again, we're gonna start with the torso and continue from there. So, first thing we're gonna heat up now, you don't ever want to heat up the pins that are going in. You always want to heat up the holes. So let's start with the legs and work our way up from there. So let's go and stick these legs in the hot water. takes a few minutes for it to heat up. You want it to be soft and pliable. Now this is kind of a harder plastic so it may not actually get to the type of pliability I want. You just don't want it to crack when you go to stick it in. So let's go ahead and see if this is good enough yet. That worked pretty good. Let's go and pop this one in too. Go. Legs attached. 
Now for the arms, we're gonna have to heat up the torso because the holes are in the torso part of it. Let's go and stick that in the water. Let's let it stay in there for a few minutes. You know what, I'm just gonna drop the head in now as we know we're gonna have to heat that up as well. So let's just go ahead and plop that in there as well. Now using the double cups keeps the water hot and that's kind of the plan using the double cups for that reason. Let's go and pull out the head and the torso. Shake all the water off. All right, right to right. Then you want to line these up and plug them in. There we go. All right, two parts left. The head. Oh. That was tough getting that on there. Last, the cake. All right, so there is Lex Luthor. Let's go ahead and uh, check out his articulation. So, starting from the bottom up, we have our ankle pivot. That's in there the same. Our double jointer knees. tight on this side as well. I'll have to work that joint loose later. And we got the pivot up here where it connects and then of course the actual leg where it bends. The waist looks like it's post twist. It looks awfully tight. Oh, I don't want to break this figure. Mm. All right we're not going to force that anymore seem like it wants to joint seems pretty frozen and we have the, the ab crunch and we have the shoulders bicep single point and elbow doesn't spin in the middle and then his wrist just rotates there's no extra articulation there just a rotation kind of sticks to Elbow, bicep, and then shoulder, and then of course his head. Now his head has a cool feature where he can tilt it way back so like he's flying, or way down so like he's looking at his belly button. We've got all kinds of movement there. Let's put that cape back on. Now it looks like the cape's supposed to kind of snap in somewhere, but I don't see how it's supposed to. I may take some glue to it later, I'm not sure, just to keep it in there. Let's see how it looks next to some of our other figures here. All right, there he is, all lined up. There's all five of them. So let's compare him to the classic Lex Luthor. how it looks. If I was playing more ahead, I would have grabbed my other Superman too, but that's, that's cool. We got these two to compare. You can see very similar realistic style. Um, the green and purple have some really cool features I like. 
that I've always liked about how it looks. But I gotta admit, this new blue one, it is pretty cool looking. It is more Superman-esque, so I can see where Lex Luthor went for it. Um, of course, it has big old things on the side to block his view. So if he was to be in a fight, you could see you'd have a little more ability for, during the fight. All right, so those are the set of figures. Um, all in all, I like all of them except for one. The Ray, I don't know what he's all about. Let's look him up online and find out what it's all about. And the rest of them, you know, they are pretty cool. Um, of course, my favorite, as you know, is the Wonder Woman. She's really cool. Too bad she has loose articulation, but I may have to take her and tighten up that loose articulation. Pretty cool. And of course, the Lex Luthor build a figure. All right. Well, hey, you guys, thanks for watching. I know it's kind of a long video. We opened a lot of figures today to create this build a figure. So if you like, share and uh, tell your friends. And oh, some things coming up is I'm hoping to make uh, Evil Lynn um, 2000X her story, her origin story. So look for that. I know you guys just really like the origin stories. Let's get the most hits. So I'm making an Evil Lynn or origin story. And I'm also still going to make that custom figure for the Ice Armor He-Man. So we'll be looking for that. And uh, I think that's it for right now. So just, just look, look for those things. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next video.